So this is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. And if you have a lot of Aquarius aspects in your chart, this is a reading you want to pay attention to. It is for May. Here we go. You could be worried about someone you love, someone you care about, some difficulties coming to them, changes coming to them, things that are happening to them that maybe you wish um, you could... Uh, <clears throat> that you wish you could deal with. Your concern about them and your kindness towards them is going to go a long way. And I think though that your heart hurts for them, and you you know you're trying to you're trying to work the energy out um, and help as well. There's been a lot of stresses in your life in the last little while, Aquarius. Um, some of it good, uh, some of it bad. And I will say that you've kind of gone up and down like a yo-yo around relationships and love affairs. Uh, this last uh, six or seven months haven't been really super easy for you, but things are about to settle down. Yay! Good for you. Um, same thing in the workplace. Looks like you've been working your ass off trying to make money, trying to make ends meet, and you're getting somewhere. It's coming together for you. It's a slow moving train, but it's coming together. I'm going to say these trains have been, both of those trains have been pretty slow, but you got the nine of sacred circles or pentagrams, and that tells me that overall you've got this, all right? You really do. And money's on its way, money's coming. You're starting to feel as if you're being valued. Um, lots of change in the romantic place, in the sexual place, all of it, lots of changes for you. Lots of changes. I think that you've already, <laughs> I think you were thinking about marriage a while back. Something happened, stop that. And you might be thinking about it again, but with someone completely different. How cool is that? Yes. Um, lots of good energy coming your way. Um, with a number of different people. I do think, though, that there might be a difficulty with money flowing. And so it just means you have to start all over again and working hard, working like a dog, making, you know, you've, you've had a break with lots of money in your pocket and um, those days have changed and you're going to have to adjust to it, Aquarius. Sorry to tell you, but that's the way it goes. Um, you may have found yourself in a relationship that no longer is too much work. It is finally something coming to a balance. And it may be happening in all your love affairs, whether they be with friends or with lovers or with family members. It looks like things are about to settle down. Everything's going to come together in such a way where you're going to have a good, long breath of fresh air. Good for you. Um, some things in the home environment may take some time to get where you want them to be, um, but you'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. Your health looks like it's improving. Maybe there's been a little bit of difficulties with that and you've had to work really hard at getting your health in a good way. You may be planning a trip, maybe back to somewhere you've been before or somewhere where you lived. Um, those trips look like that's going to happen. Um, maybe not in the month of May, but certainly you'll be working through that for the coming month or two. Yeah, there'll be some difficulties in your family that you'll have to deal with. And, you know, that's not anything really new, is it? No, it is definitely not. You've had to deal with stuff in your family um, for a long time. Your family is what we might call a little bit toxic, a little bit unsettled. That's the way it goes. Um... Work may be, you might be feeling really trapped with the workplace, with all the responsibilities and all the things that just doesn't seem to be enough time for you. You will have to figure out how to make that time um, happen. The next two months is going to be a little bit tough for you to get to doing everything you want. You're going to feel like you're dragging your ass and you're not getting done what you want to get done. Um, you're, you're going to be playing catch up for the next few months, sorry to tell you. And it's not going to be easy on you, on your nerves or anything. But the love affair thing looks like you're going to come to... Yeah, I think that uh, the love affair energy is moving in the right direction. Lots of fun, lots of games, lots of playing. Um, even though you're playing house, you're also going to be playing lovers. And I think this is a, a good thing, good energy for you. If you're an Aquarian who's not in a relationship, I think you're going to be dating and finding opportunity in relationship and having a lot of fun. So May is going to be a good month for 
for rekindling that romantic vibration uh, that you know that fun having fun with someone that might be um, a lover or might be a wannabe lover um, and for those that are dating you're going to find opportunities to maybe you know connect so that'll be a good thing lots of fun for you guys um, and like I said, for those that are involved, it's going to be really great. It's going to be a good month for you folks, to be honest with you, overall. And for those Aquarians that are in relationships that need to end, these are going to be the ending times. So endings and beginnings, all in the same breath. So I think you Aquarian people are going to get in and out of relationships quite quickly and have been for the next little while. And I think you're making the right moves. Lots of new friends coming your way. Um, new activities that are increasing, friendships and opportunities and friends, health is improving, um, work responsibilities are going to be a little bit of an overload. But that's your month of May, my friends. I hope that helps you. <laughs>